So I wanted to mine out a big area underground. I tried throwing bombs to clear out the blocks, but it was really slow. Do you know any faster way to clear out a large area like that? Well, dynamite is much faster than bombs, but the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have the right equipment. So I would recommend the mining armor that can sometimes drop from the undead miners and maybe also use a mining potion. This will give you more mining speed. Okay, right. Now, because dynamite is so expensive to purchase, you should only use them when they can blow up large chunks of blocks, and then you can use your pickaxe for the rest of the blocks. Okay, thanks. I haven't gotten that far, so I'm not sure if there are any pickaxes that are faster than using dynamite. I'm still struggling with the mech bosses. Right, I'll try to buy some dynamite when I have time to play later today. I'm going to ask Ben. I know he has beaten the game many times before. Hey, what's up? Hey, we were wondering, what's the fastest way to mine in Terraria? Oh, it's the Shroomite Digging Clause. But you will also need to have the max mining speed bonus for it to work properly. Also, technically speaking, the max mining speed is capped at 70%. So you don't need all the different buffs to get the fastest speed. Is it even faster than using dynamite? Yes, much faster. And it does not cost gold. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, oh, Neil, hey, we're discussing the fastest way to mine in Terraria. Ben said the Shroomite Digging Claws were the, the fastest. The Digging Claws? <laughs> no way they are the fastest these days. Even using one of the Luminite pickaxes are better because they have more range. But the actual fastest way to mine is the drill containment unit. Isn't that thing crazy expensive to craft? No way that shitty mount is faster than having max mining speed. I even remember testing, and statistically my claws were faster. But was that before the 1.4 update? In that update, they tripled the speed on the drill containment unit, making it by far the best way to mine quickly, and it can even mine background walls at the same time. I see. I have not done any tests in the new version. I I'm going to add Eric. He's an expert at this stuff. Greetings. What's going on? We were wondering what is faster, the Shroomite digging claws or the drill containment unit? Well, neither actually, for most situations, that is. If you want to destroy non-blast resistant blocks, the clear winners are the two late game rocket launchers. Namely, the Snowman Cannon and the Celebration MK2. These are basically like shooting dynamite from a machine gun. Well, only if you use rockets that destroy terrain, and the best ones are the Mini Nuke 2, crafted from Rocket 4 and Shroomite bars. So what rocket launcher is the best? Exactly. And be precise. Using the Snowman Cannon is a more controlled way to break blocks because it has perfect accuracy. But it is slower than the Celebration MK2. That weapon fires extremely fast, but in a very uncontrolled pattern. Won't that be way too expensive to get all those hundreds of rockets? Not necessarily. The Celebration MK2 has a 50% chance not to consume ammo. And if you put on all permanent ammo conservation effects, namely the Vortex breastplate, ammo box, and chlorophyte helmet, I calculated it will consume 76% less rockets. To calculate this, you have to take into consideration that ammo conservation effects are treated as non-mutually exclusive events. Therefore, you have to use a special formula instead of simply taking the sum of all the ammo conservation rates. I am completely lost. Okay, then what about blast-resistant blocks then, like the dungeon? The Shroomite digging claws are still the best, right? No, the drill containment unit is the ideal tool for that situation. It vastly outperforms any standard pickaxe. When clearing out large areas, you will need to swap to the drill mount to clear out blocks of blast-resistant ore like cobalt or chlorophyte. You will also need the mount if there are some background walls left over that the rockets didn't hit. Also, if you were to use a pickaxe, you should have the light modifier to get a bit more speed. I can see on your share screen that yours doesn't even have that. Also, the rocket launchers should have the frenzying or rapid modifier to fire rockets even faster. These actually give a bit more speed than the seemingly best Unreal modifier. I have no idea what you guys are talking about anymore. I am not convinced. Getting all this stuff sounds way too complicated. Ben, I have studied this stuff for years. I've written many papers on this topic, so I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, who wants to play Among Us? 